Namaskar. I am Deepak Aditya. I have 18 years of experience in teaching and 12 years in project management in Australia. I have a PhD from University of London, a CAPM from Project Management Institute, a black belt in Lean Six Sigma, and a graduate certificate from Queensland University of Technology, Australia. I have high level of interest in project management. I prepared the video titled Fundamentals of Project Management, divided into four chapters. Basic concepts of the project, understanding the project management, project management approaches, and conduct project management. I would like to present this video to you. Chapter 1 basic concepts of project. The chapter has eight presentations. Among these are project management concept, factors for project success and risk for the project, difference between project program and portfolio, and PMO. Project management. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques. It aims to meet business objectives, increases the success rate, delivers right quality product, and manages constraints and changes as required. Project documents. There are 33 documents to deal with in project management. Some are cost estimates, cost forecast, duration estimate, milestone list, resource requirement, risk register, risk report, schedule forecast, basis of the estimate, quality report, stakeholder register, and lessons learned register. Factors in project success. Project success depends on meeting the agreed upon budget, return on investment, net present value, and realizing the benefit. The most important factor is acceptable customer adoption. Risk factors in the project. Risk factors are related to project complexity, contract, financial, legal, scope and requirement, planning and control, and execution. Inadequate protection of the intellectual property is a risk. For example, building information modeling in construction. The conflicting requirements is a risk. Poor governance is a major risk and non-compliance with methodology is a risk in the execution phase. The scenario of the project management. The project can be managed as a standalone within a program or portfolio. Difference between project, program, and portfolio is discussed in the next slide. Difference between project, program, and portfolio. A project is temporary with a start and end date. A program is a group of related projects managed in a coordinated manner. A portfolio is centralized management of the collection of projects and program to meet the strategic objective. Program management. Program management is aligned with the strategic direction of the organization. Allocates program scope, manage interdependence among the projects, resolve constraints, assure benefit realization from the project. Portfolio management. A portfolio includes projects, programs, sub-portfolios, and operation management to meet the strategic objectives. It selects the optimum mix of programs and projects as centralized management of risk. Project Management Office, PMO. The project management office provides facilities for sharing resources, methodologies, tools, and techniques. They can be supportive, controlling, or directive. Directive PMO control is high, while controlling PMO control is moderate. No one likes control. My preference is supportive PMO. Chapter 2, the project manager. This chapter contains eight presentations. Among these are PMI triangle, leadership style, project manager's power, and techniques for conflict resolution and communication. The last one, 
is developing a high performance team, which is essential for project success. Role of the project manager. The project manager leads the project team to meet the project's objectives. Also performs communication role between the project sponsor, team member, and other stakeholders. The project manager uses interpersonal skills to balance the conflicting and competing goals of the project stakeholders. PMI triangle, talent of project manager. The PMI triangle focuses on technical project management, leadership, and strategic and business management. Project manager's leadership style. There are various forms of leadership style. Legifiary, allowing the team to make the decision, transactional, focused on goal, servant leader demonstrates commitment prescribed in the agile environment, transformational prescribed for traditional projects. In addition, there are situational and democratic leadership. Strategic project leadership, a new approach. Strategic project leadership is a new approach to project management. There are seven principles, leadership, strategic project portfolio management, project strategy, creating project vision and adaptation, integration of process tools and learning environment. This approach is suitable for large organization. Project manager's power. There are various forms of power that a project manager can apply. They are positional, which is authoritative, referent, which is credibility gained from other, expert, skill and experience, reward power, and punitive. Punitive power is the worst one, referent and reward power are desired. Project manager in conflict management. The project manager uses interpersonal skills in resolving conflict. These are withdraw, postponing the issue to be better prepared, smooth, emphasizing areas of agreement, compromise, searching for solutions that bring some degrees of satisfaction for all parties, a lose-lose situation, force pushing one's viewpoint at the expense of others, only win-lose situation, and collaborate is the lasting one, requires collaboration from all parties. Project manager's communication. Over 90% of project manager's time is spent on communication. The project manager must be skilled in communication with various stakeholders, such as stock management, customers, the project team, and the other project managers. Developing high performance team. High performance team requires knowledge, skills, and abilities, effective conflict resolution, collaboration, self-confidence, change readiness, empowerment, and information sharing. The team goes through the stage of forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. Chapter three, project management approaches. There are 13 presentations on traditional and agile, agile life cycles, Kanban, hybrid of traditional and scrum, and scrum ban. What approach, traditional or agile? What should be the project management approach? They are either traditional or agile. Traditional project management is predictable and linear. Agile approach is appropriate where changes are accommodated with iteration planning. Traditional project management sequence. The sequence includes initiation, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. Agile process approach. Agile subway map is presented here. Definition of done, story point estimate, backlog, burn down chart, and time box events are in Agile. Agile is the ability to create and respond to change. Comparison of traditional and Agile to help select the appropriate approach. Select the appropriate methodology for your project. In the traditional approach, there are clear initial requirements and a low change rate. 
while agile is creative and innovative, the requirements are unclear. You can use the combination of both methods, which will be discussed later. Relationship between product vision, agile release planning, and iteration planning. Agile release planning provides a high-level summary timeline of the release schedule. The planning also determines the number of iterations or sprints in the release. Agile life cycle iterative. In the iterative agile life cycle, deliveries happen at the end of each iteration, repeated until correct and single delivery. Agile life cycle incremental. In the incremental life cycle, several dependent increments are completed in a sequence performed once for a given increment. Agile life cycle adaptive. In the adaptive agile life cycle, creates a mix of iterative and incremental development, repeated until correct, frequent small deliveries. Agile framework is Scrum. Scrum is an iterative incremental process for developing any product or managing any work. Scrum concentrates on how the team members should function in a constantly changing environment. At the end of each iteration, it produces a potential set of functionality. The Scrum role and the process. The Scrum process involves daily stand-up of 15 minutes to plan for the next 24 hours. Sprint planning meeting with a duration of eight hours for a four-week sprint. The team works on the items during the sprint of one to four weeks. A sprint review meeting, four hours for four-week sprint. And retrospective, three hours for a four-week sprint. Scrum roles are defined as the product owner, the Scrum master, and the development team. Kanban. Kanban pulls the order of items. The great advantage of Kanban is that the problems are identified throughout the process and can be identified before getting to the end point. Kanban leads to the team members to choose their own workflow. Items move from the backlog to the ready pool. Lean Six Sigma. The Six Sigma methodology implements the DAMAIC process. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. It is an improvement system. Hybrid, traditional, and scrum. It is the advanced approach in project management that combines traditional methodology and scrum. Please see the diagram. The project manager is concentrating in product requirements from customer feedback, making WBS, while the scrum master on backlog, sprint, and finally release. Scrum ban, application of Scrum and Kanban. Scrum is the combination of Scrum and Kanban. Please see the diagram. The top is Kanban and the bottom is Scrum with daily Scrum, sprint review, improvement, and finally production. Initiate your project with Scrum and then manage the workflow and limit work in progress with Kanban. Application of more than one life cycle and methodology. As we have seen in the presentation before, more than one life cycle and methodology can be applied in the project implementation. Adapt life cycles to the project instead of adapting the project to the life cycle. As you now know, Scrum is a combination of iterative model and incremental model. Please see the diagram here where methodologies are combined at level two for software development life cycle. Chapter four, conduct project management. It has 10 presentations, project management process groups, and project integration are illustrated. In addition to the execution and monitoring phase, integrated change control and change control board are presented. Finally, close the project. Sub plans include scope, schedule, cost, quality, resources, communication, risk, 
procurement and stakeholder. Pre-initiation phase, develop business case. The business case is developed to determine the economic feasibility of the project. It results in a go or no go decision for the project. It is used throughout the project life cycle and help measures the project success at the end of the project. The project management process group. The five project management process groups are initiating process group, planning process group, which is required to establish the scope of the project and the project management plan, executing process group, monitoring and controlling process group, and closing process group. Project integration management. Project integration management is specific to project manager. Project integration management is about ensuring the transition of the deliverables of the product, service, or result. Also managing phase transition when necessary. Initiation phase. Develop project charter. A project charter formally authorizes the existence of a project and provides the project manager with the authority to apply organizational resources to the project activities. Inputs for project charter are business case, enterprise environmental factor, and the organizational process asset. Planning phase, develop project management plan. Developing project management plan is preparing all plan components and consolidating them into an integrated project management plan. A project management plan defines how the project is executed, monitored, controlled, and closed. The project management plan content varies depending on the application area and complexity of the project. There are 19 sub plans, including three baselines. Not all of them are required for your project. Tailor the project management plan for your project according to need. Sub plan. Project scope management. The six processes are plan scope management, collect requirement, define scope, create WBs, validate scope, and control scope. If scope fields show up, means you do not have complete control over the project. There are product scope and project scope. Sub plan project cost management. The four processes are plan cost management, estimate cost, determine budget, and control cost. The cost baseline is the approved version of the time phased project budget, excluding the management reserve. Once you add the management reserve to the cost baseline, it becomes the project budget. Sub plan, project schedule management. Project schedule management processes are plan schedule management, define activities, sequence activities, estimate activity durations, develop a schedule and control schedule. A schedule baseline is the approved version of a schedule model that can be changed only through formal change procedure and is used as a basis for comparison of actual results. Sub plan, project quality management. The three processes of quality management are Plan quality management, manage quality, and control quality. The cost of quality includes all cost for prevention and appraisal, as well as internal failure cost and external failure cost. Please see the figure cost of quality here. Sub plan, project resource management. Six processes are plan resource management, estimate activity resources, acquire resources, develop team, manage team, and control resources. There are many methods of estimation. These are bottom-up estimating, analogous estimating, which uses information from a previous similar project as a basis for estimating, and parametric, which uses algorithm. Subplan, project communication management. Communication management three processes are plan communication management, manage communication, and monitor communication. Analysis of communication requirement determines the information needs of the project stakeholders. The choice of communication technology includes the urgency of the need of information, 
availability of technology, ease of use, and project environment. Sub plan, project risk management. Seven processes of risk management are plan risk management, identify risk, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform quantitative risk analysis, plan risk responses, implement risk responses, and monitor risk. Performing quantitative risk analysis is not prescribed for all projects. This is expensive too. Risk can be negative or positive. Strategies are avoid, accept, transfer, mitigate, exploit, or escalate. Subplan, project procurement management. The processes are plan procurement management, conduct procurement, and control procurement. Contracts for procurement are firm fixed price when the scope is well defined, which is the most commonly used contract type in the project. Then cost reimbursable and time and material. Subplan, project stakeholder management. Stakeholder management processes are identify stakeholder, plan stakeholder engagement, manage stakeholder engagement, and monitor engagement. Manage stakeholder engagement is the process of communicating and working with stakeholders to meet their needs and expectations. A stakeholder can be monitored by salience or greed of high and low power and interest. Execution phase. The execution phase is direct and manage project work, performing the work defined in the project management plan. Any change in the work will require a change request which is a formal proposal to modify any document, deliverables, or baseline. Change requests are processed for review and disposition through the Perform Integrated Change Control Process. Monitoring and Controlling Phase Monitor and Control Project Work It includes performing integrated change control, validate scope, control scope, schedule, cost, quality, resource, monitor communication, monitor risk, control procurement, and monitor stakeholder engagement. Monitor and control project work is the process of tracking, reviewing, and reporting the overall progress to meet the performance objective. The process is performed throughout the project. Integrated Change Control and Change Control Board. The platform Integrated Change Control process is conducted in the project from start to the end and is the ultimate responsibility of project manager. Change request can impact the project scope and product scope, as well as any project management plan component or any other document. Change may be requested by any stakeholder involved in the project and may occur at any time throughout the project. Change request can be approved or rejected by the change control board. Closing phase. Close project or phase. Close project or phase includes project management plan components, project documents examples, project document updates. Project close or phase is about finalizing all the activities for the project. This process is performed once at the end of the project. The final report provides a summary. Acknowledgement. I am grateful to the Project Management Institute and to those I refer to in this video. Thank you.